So apparently there's a new farm out there that I was also sent this morning by the way, so we have known about it a little bit, but I'm not doing it myself, just because it requires so much work in the back end to get this rolling. Even though some of you might have already done this work without actually knowing about it as well, it has to do with the incursions, and there's a way you can currently make between 200 and 1000 plus gold bravery, which based on that huge uh, variance, it could probably show you that it's it's very RNG. You're looting something, you can get a lot of gold, you can get not a lot of gold. It's very RNG, but I also saw Sarth made a video on this today. So we're going to take a look at Sarth's video first, covering probably an introduction to the topic and just uh, showcasing the farm itself. And then we have the farm that was sent to me this morning as well, that we can take a look at. So here we go, should be on the right page right here. Sarth video, do this, do this insane for a new farm before it's nerfed. Night Resonance Crystal. So you have to get an item from the Nightmare Incursions that you have to get to Exalted to get. Going to, if I can just take this away for a second, I can open up my Atlas loot. So you want to farm rep with the um, Nightmare Incursions and you want to farm all the way to Exalted, I think. Factions, we can go to the Emerald Wardens and Exalted. This is a trinket, Nightmare Resonance Crystal. You can use this one in the Nightmare to find I don't know what to call them, but you're finding objects, lootable objects, pretty much a um, crystal or like a herb or whatever, and you can loot those objects in the nightmare, but only when you use a crystal. So you have to get to Exalted, that's the whole back end here, which that's why I'm not doing it, because I'm not doing any more incursions. I've had enough, like, uh, I've had enough of incursions for now, so I'm not doing this, but either way, if you either are already exalted, close to exalted, or have the power within you to grind to exalted, this could be an absolutely ridiculously good farm. So, let's take a look at what Swarth has to say here. Players have just discovered a new way of making thousands of gold every single day and in a very easy farm right now because only a few people have access to this. And these players are getting items like Edge Masters and Shadow Blade. Currently, I'm having reports of people getting upwards of two to three BOE Epics as well as six to 10 BOE Blues that are very high level, levels 41 to level 52 Blues. Yeah. So very, like, the the best ones in the game including like julie's dagger per hour or per two hours and this is by using the new nightmare resonance crystal this is the epic trinket that you do get from having exalted reputation with the nightmare incursions people are just hitting exalted recently or they hit exalted before and didn't want to share this information because it was just like the most ridiculous way of making gold, but here's how it works. First of all, shout out to Schwamp. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this. I would actually butcher his name for utilizing this or actually making a video about this, but I can show you just even at the beginning of this second video he did after he updates things that once you pick up the trinket, you can equip the trinket right here, and then you will start seeing some actual herbs around. They're called the Nightmare Bloom you'll actually start seeing them around the entire zone. You can see that he can pick them up right now, but if he unequips the trinket, the herb will go away. So you don't have the buff anymore and you no longer can pick these up. But picking these up have a chance to drop a ton of high level herbs as well as high level materials for pretty much everything. You can get like mithril ore from this, BOE blues. You are actually gonna see in a second, he's gonna scroll over. You've got nightmare seeds that generally drop only from the raid. Now they are dropping ridiculously high amounts in each raid but also things like edge masters you can get a ton <laughs> oh, of yeah, blues dude. and BOEs edge from masters this. so this is going to be a ridiculous gold farm early on as well as it's also going to reduce eventually the prices of herbs a lot of these herbs are in zones that are really hard to kind of just get around in something like yeah. eastern plague lands while you are level 50 so this will actually be in a phenomenal farm things like dream foil which will obviously be just incredibly good so i'm going to scroll around the video in the background really quickly and i'll have a link to this in the description so you can actually see him going and picking these up and again you don't need herbalism yourself to be able to pick these up all you need is to have the trinket and have the buff on yourself so if you look right up here you just need to have the buff on yourself and then you can head to the nightmare incursions and you're always getting some amazing items like this farm is ridiculous 
ridiculous you can see in the background he's getting dream foil he's gonna get another green here that will sell even just to the vendor for some gold and then you can get a lot of blues as well as you can get these epics and the drop rate seems to be kind of insanely high which is the biggest thing for this people are getting reports of like i said at the beginning like six epics in a couple hours for some groups so definitely try if you are near exalted to grab this and you should be able to make a ton of money he just picked up a black fame shield and even more epics so maybe this gets stealth nerfed so if you're near exalted right now might as well take advantage of this and buy the trinket and try to go farm these before it gets kind of super farmed out eventually bots will literally just farm this like crazy but you could make a ridiculous amount of gold right away if you get to this early enough dude speaking of bots i saw so many bots at the incursions really early like i saw way too many bots at the incursions it's incredible how they were able to like i, I don't know just get through all of the horde i'm playing on a pvp server like bro there were so many hordes at the incursions, and it's so obvious to spot them as well. Like, for example, when they're a boar, when, they, when they're a hunter and they have a boar pet, and it's called boar and moving in a robotic type of pattern, or having, like, it, it's like the, the pet they have is named the standard name, which, to be fair, lots of players do that as well, but when it's that, plus an obvious click to move, plus the ob obvious dead zone kind of movement where they pull something, they take exactly five yards step back, while like backpedaling by the way and then start shooting it's the exact same pattern every single time it's so obvious to see like um yeah i was i saw so many bots so i would not be surprised if bots start doing this eventually just because they're already exalted they have to be they were doing so many incursions because it was really good it still is really good for gold as well like even after the initial nerf i was getting about 60 gold per hour while leveling at the incursions which once again is heavily bottable because what we did was pick up objects literally pick up objects and the people that script these bots they can script them to share quests so they can be five bots in a group and share the quests with each other as well either way let's uh, go into this one this is a video by swamp swamp langare or something like that i think um, maybe i butchered that one as well but it sounds swedish ish updated emerald warden gold farm guide 215 to 1.5k gold per hour that is insane i have not seen much of this video by the way i just scrolled through it quickly and i i don't know if he's using any sort of voice on the video he is something here uh i have a updated version of the nightmare resonance crystal and what it does and what you can use it for so when you press it you get a buff that says blah blah blah, blah. Get the bostrom Am I crazy, or wasn't this the guy who helped us in Winter Spring? On Hardcore? Is in the Dream to the Nightmare. And what it does actually is that you can see this new... Uh... It was? Yeah, dude, Swamp! If you if you ever tune into my stream or see this or something, thank you once again for the help back then. In Winter Spring, those are good times. I really do appreciate that. And also, <laughs> what a coincidence. Yeah, I remember. I remember as well. I, I, I thought there was something familiar about the name. Herbs that you can find in uh, uh, Ashenville in the dream only. So if I remove it, it disappears. And if I pop it again, I can loot it. Okay. So, whatever. He just lose at Edge Masters. <laughs> they are located on. Uh, I have 13 spots. Yo, dude, screw the gold making aspect. He just got a scroll for 1% crit. If we can use this in the raid, we need to do this for the raid. Like, 1% crit is 1% crit. If you want to parse, I, I don't know, man. It sounds like a back to incursions angle to me, man. It's down here. My other youtube video i'm just making another one right now and that's all the herbs that i've found in the last nine hours since i found this and these herbs they drop random like uh groom's blood the old and stand ghost mushroom mountain silver sage and dream foils for herbs okay and then you can get mithril ores you can get nightmare seeds 
and you can get random greens, random blues, and you can get epics. First of all, you can get those epics. Like you have the Shadow Blade, you have the Edge Masters. I think you have more than that as well, like you might cover. But don't sleep on the greens aspect here. I just sold a green yesterday from just looting high level mobs for over 100 gold with the right stats. I've also sold a Fire Spell Power green for 50 gold. I've sold a Shadow Power green for 60 gold. Don't sleep on high level greens. Getting a level 49 or 50 green with the absolute right stat, you can sell for so much gold. Like Edge Masters right now are 400 gold on my server. I once again sold a green for 100 gold. So greens are also really valuable when popping with the right stat. And having access to level 49 to 50 greens here is incredibly valuable. Especially when you have epics, blues and consumables or like materials on top as well. This is insane. And the nightmare seeds, even though they have buffed the drop rate in the raids, like we got, how many did we get again? 140 in one raid, like 7 seeds each or something. 130 I think it was and we got 6 seeds each. That is a massive amount. The, the prices are still roughly the same as they were before because people need so many of them. You need to have 10 of them, plus if you have more professions, you need to have more of them. So like just two minutes ago, I got the... Uh, um, masters. did it disappear? Oh yeah, but you can see it in the start of the video that I found it. And the last nine hours, I've been... All of these items that you see right here, that's just greens and blues and gold. Did you just say in the last nine hours? Like, if you take a look at this value, that is 13k. Let me scroll back and look from the top. Okay, so Julie's Dagger, 1.5. Nightmare Seeds, 1.4. For 19 of them. Huh? That is like 70 gold per seed. They're definitely not selling for that now, man, but still insane. Elixirs of Demon Slaying. Did they drop from here as well, or did you make those? Edge Masters, Serpentine, Lord. So a lot of blues, a holy damn lot of blues, man. A lot of blues. All of these items that you see right here. That's just greens and blues and golden sandstone and shit from today okay yeah that's nine hours so i'm gonna show you the route i'm gonna start in the wrong oh my goodness got some pvp here <laughs> you, you're dead bro he's a priest come on man come on man why do you potion man there's no way he's making it he's doing it he's doing it okay. uh Show him the superior class. Do it. Yes? Yes? No, the fear. Uh, oh, okay, yes. <laughs> nice. Um... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna show you the route. Oh, nice. <laughs> that priest thought okay. he was so cool. So, I'm here Not at cool. The start point. So, we have one rune here. Or rune, the rune. Uh, they're called Resonating Nightmare Bloom. So, we're gonna start here and then go the route around. And I'm gonna time it also. So, you can see the timer if it's not contested. That's one green. Uh, we preferably want to skip this guy if we can. Yeah. It doesn't look like we can this time. You should probably just skip that guy. Wait. Am I seeing two lootable objects or am I crazy? That's one at least. Am, am I blind or is that two lootable objects? Or is one of them just a smoke? Or a particle effect? If there's two objects there, that's crazy. Come on, show the tree the superior class. Yeah, you're getting help. Come on, get him. Get him. Wasn't there one more object? 
Yeah, so he, he got he got a green right there. And one dream foil in 50 seconds. Yeah. That is actually kind of nuts, man. And here's the, the orb spawn. Yeah, and then he has like another one as well. And this is only in Ashen Vale. I want to see if there's m any more spots in Feralas and Not in the, um, the Hinterlands. And I want to see if we're able to like get more and better loot from there. Because like I would imagine you would get Let's more and better loot from history. those. They're higher level, right? Next to the spider. Stand on the edge here. You won't pull the whelps if they stand here. Okay. Instead of me showing you the entire route, I'm going to leave a link to this video so you can see the entire route as well. But I believe that that's like the basis of the farm and what you can do. Like, you can clearly see the potential here. This farm is ridiculous. And the first of all, the less people know about this, the better. But also, even if a lot of people know about it, it will still be good because of the barrier to entry. You do not need herbalism for this now. You just need to have exalted with the faction, like the Emerald Wardens. That's all you need to do. You're picking up something that looks like an herb, but it's not an herb, but it like looks like it. It technically, it might be. It's like a nightmare flower, right? Which anyone can pick up. It's like a song flower in... Um, it's like a song of flower in Fellwood, where you have to have the item to cleanse it. In this case, you have the item, which is a trinket, you have to use to see them, and then you just open them. So that's kind of insane. Even though if people get to know about this, you still have to farm to exalt it. And any farm that has a massive barrier to entry like that will stay profitable for a long time. So for me, I think this is a really good farm right now. It's going to keep being good. And unless Blizzard nerfs this, it's going to be the best farm to do, I think, for quite a while. But that's actually pretty insane. I, I I told myself I would never go back to doing questions, but unless Blizzard nerfs this, I might have to give it a try. Because that is absolutely nuts. Once again, I will leave a link to his videos down below as well. And um, yeah, I'm going to leave you a link to it right now so you can check him out. He even has like the whole um, Tom Tom waypoint. So you can just import the waypoints from his video to your game. And then it will tell you where the spawns are. Either way, 